The reason why I made this video is because a lot of people don't know about Alexa Home Theater. But if you have some extra Echo Dots in your house that you're not using, well, this is gonna make a lot of sense how to get more value out of them. So watch, I'm gonna show you how to set them up. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. And I'm also gonna explain if you have any difficulty setting them up, what you should do to rectify or troubleshoot those errors. The Echo Dots are both 30 watt speakers and that's with the fourth generation or the fifth generation. And in combination with the 100 watt subwoofer, now suddenly you have a 160 watt home entertainment system that's smart. So Alexa Home Theater is an option you get on a Amazon 4 series, a Omni, a Omni QLED, a second or third generation Amazon Fire TV Cube or the Amazon Fire Stick. 4K Max, not on the regular 4K Fire Stick. And if you have compatible devices that you want to use in conjunction with it, the compatible audio devices are going to be the fourth and fifth generation Echo Dots, the Echo Sub, the Echo Studio, and the regular Echo Plus speaker. Those are the only devices that are from Amazon that are going to be enabled to set up with the Amazon Home Theater. Now, if you have those speakers and you're not using them, I really recommend to start trying or at least try to set them up for television. It provides another option for a lot of users who are not getting the maximum value out of their Echo Dot or their Echo audio equipment. Because if you're just using it to listen to music and you're not listening to music that much, or you're just using it to do some basic commands, while well, putting in some combination with your TV, suddenly, you have something that is not only going to be a Echo, but it's also going to be a home entertainment system. So depending on using it with an Echo, an Echo Dot, or an Echo Studio, the sound difference can be very wide. However, we are not going to be focusing on using it with the Echo Studio or the regular Echo, because I think at that price point, if you want to get a sound system for your television, well, then you probably better off getting a sound bar with an add additional sub, just like you would get a Samsung, LG, a Bose, whichever system you so choose. But with two Echo Dots and the sub, that's where we're finding the best value. And why? Because if you get the new fifth generation Echo Dot, they come with a 1.73 inch driver that's gonna be providing a wider, bigger, more distinct sound even over the fourth generation. However, however, and this is something that I wanna just remind everybody is that the volume control on your Echo Dots, they're gonna max out. It's not gonna be as loud as something like the Echo Studio. It's not gonna be as loud as a regular traditional soundbar. It might not even be as loud well, I do think it's gonna be as loud as your TV speakers because most of your TV speakers are just coming in at something like eight watts each. That's why we're not focusing on the Echo Studio or on the Echo because if you wanna make a home theater setup for your television at that price point, well, I recommend you get a soundbar. So now I wanna show you how to use it with Alexa home theater mode because that's really easy. And this is going to be on the Amazon QLED Omni TV. So this is Amazon's own television. So that's super easy to if you have one of these guys, but it's also very easy if you have a fire cube or a fire stick. So we're gonna to go to our settings and inside of settings, you're gonna to go to display and sound. So inside of your settings, you wanna go click on Alexa home theater. You wanna create your home theater, creates a more immersive sound experience by pairing two speakers and an optional subwoofer to your fire TV, say okay. To use, you have to have it enabled with Alexa anytime. So my television here is enabled because this is the most current and the most advanced out of all of the Amazon television. So it is now going to be searching for your devices. So now we're connecting via the Fire TV Cube that you see here. We're going to go to our settings. You're going to go to display and sounds in your settings and you're going to click on Alexa Home Theater. In Alexa Home Theater, it says create your Alexa Home Theater, okay. So now that you see that we have our two speakers here, we have the fifth gen Echo Dot Blue and the fifth gen Echo Dot White, plus the Echo Sub. So we're gonna click on all three. They're gonna to group together. We're gonna to click next. We're gonna test the speakers. Left channel, right channel. So they're in the different locations. So we're gonna swap. Left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel correct. 
continue. And now we're gonna finish creating our home theater. It does take a little second for your devices to appear. So just because they might not appear right away, doesn't mean it's not working. My quick tips for anybody having a hard time doing this. Unplug your Echo Dot just to refresh it, especially if you unpaired any groups or devices from your Echo Dot to get it to pair with your television or your Fire Stick. Here, lip sync tuning. So this, because there is a little bit of lag between the wireless connection to your speakers and your television, they're gonna audio sync it so the lips are not gonna be off. It's also important to note, if you are using the Alexa home theater with the Omni television, you will not have the ability to use your television speakers. I just went through all the settings. I've been trying this for about a week or two and I've not been able to activate or unmute my TV speakers. If anyone knows a way to switch back before their Alexa home theater system and their television speakers, let me know, drop a comment in the comment box because I would love to know myself. So if your Amazon home theater setup worked correctly, your Wi-Fi network is gonna be like Amazon dash blah, 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 blah. It's not gonna be your Wi-Fi setting. And if you go to your audio settings, you will not be able to adjust these yourself. It's already gonna be set up by what you're playing on your TV. So if you wanna adjust things on your television, so there's no setting where I can adjust the treble bass or the mid-range. has made some good upgrades to the Echo Dot 5th generation with the LED display. For one, it can not only display your time, it can display your weather, as well as display the name and the title of the song that you're listening to. Who is the Amazon Alexa home theater system right for? Which well, for people who have extra 4th generation Echo Dots or you want to put two next together with the subwoofer, I find that this is a really good sounding audio system. So if you're just getting the regular plain Jane Echo Dots, which are gonna be costing you about 25 to $30 when they're on sale, and you buy the sub at full price, the whole system costs you somewhere about $180, which if you compare it comparatively to other systems, and you compare it to things like the Roku Stream Bar Plus Sub, or you compare it to other systems, even like the LG or the Bose TV speaker, I do find that compared to the Bose TV speaker, the Bose TV speaker is gonna have higher volume, but this two speaker system just gives you a wider range of sound and it gives you a very, very punchy bass because that subwoofer, it overperforms what you anticipate it sounding like. So without the sub, I'm not gonna say this is like gonna sound that amazing, but with the sub, the sub adds a lot of value. And that's where I see this going. If you're interested in getting this, I say, Try it out. Do not be scared about the setup. The setup can be a little bit tricky, but once you get the setup done, it's gonna pair automatically with your television. And now suddenly you have a home entertainment system that you didn't have to work so hard on that is gonna be smart Alexa enabled and make your home smarter. And with that, thanks for watching everybody. This is David with the French Glow showcasing to you my Alexa home theater. I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.